Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. Today we're back working on our massive rescue ship here. I've done a couple things offline, but they were boring things, so don't worry about that. But I did do, uh, you can see I got a bunch of microcontrollers on the roof here. And I kind of upgraded the mast a little bit. You can see there's a lot more equipment on it. Uh, that's because I upgraded the, oh, oh, hello. You almost hit us there, buddy. Hello. Close call with that one. Uh, I'm the bigger ship guy. You're supposed to watch out for me. Uh, anyway, God, what was I saying? Okay, lots of microcontrollers. So yeah, we've got uh, our, our bridges. I'm so confused now. Uh, our bridge is uh, kind of equipped here. Uh, I've got a digital compass. I've got a camera that faces down so we can actually see our bow now. Uh, I've got some rear view cameras here so we can see the left and right sides plus the actual deck. Uh, and I've got those reversed so they actually look like mirrors, which is nice. All of our our stats here and data has come over to this side over here. Uh, I've still got water controls here, so I got the water cannons. Uh, I've also got all of our deck lights, spotlights, and things like that here, as well as all of our engine information here. So this is basically just going to be the fire marshal slash engineer. Uh, over here, we've got our communication slash radar man, I guess is what this is going to be. Uh, so they're kind of watching out for other ships, um, the depth things calling out navigation lights the weather that's kind of their job over here i've also got this ais system here uh which i think is gonna be really cool to uh try to utilize what is that out there i thought i saw something uh today i think i'm actually gonna build a little dinghy uh for this spot right here in the front uh, i think that's a perfect little spot for us to have a tender for this boat so something that we can just drop in the water use with a quickness something that's a little more fuel efficient and then we can bring it back up onto the boat uh so i kind of think that's where that's gonna go i kind of think that's a nice little spot i think it's a little bit bigger than a shipping container so we should have plenty of room there and that way we'll actually be able to kind of have something to get off the boat and go other places but we're actually going to implement the ais system them into the boat so that when we're on the boat we can actually see where our small tender is at around the map and if we ever put a helicopter on here we can do the same thing so we can keep track of our helicopter and our our tender uh, so let's go ahead I don't think I've done anything else uh, we do have a little navigation map back here that I'm kind of playing with uh, so we got a big little big map uh, this will incorporate into our navigation so if we were to put into a waypoint we can navigate and I've already set it up to kind of go around the islands here uh, that's not fixed yet. I'm still getting all things hooked up. As you can see, they're still all on the roof. Stuff that's on the roof is what I'm calling not completely hooked up. Uh, once it's hooked up, it goes to the server room, and then we're good to go there. Uh, but yeah, let's take this back to the workbench, and I want to start building a boat for this front section here. All right, so we've got it back in the workbench here. Let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, let's come to the front. So this is what I want to use to store the boat on. Uh, we're going to have to put some davits, divots crane system something here uh somebody correct me on what they're called davits or divots i'm not sure i think they're davits uh to be able to lift this thing up and drop it over the bow but i think this is the distance that we're going to be able to use here so what do we got this is how long is this this is 33 this is our distance here and i think our side to side distance i don't think we should go over anything 16 now can i copy this out of here that's the question i want to get this out of here and we can actually use this as our template to build on um I don't need the bottom section. I just need that. So let's go like that. I think that's good. I'm not worried about these corners. I just want to copy this and then we're going to go new vehicle. Yes, I want to make a new vehicle. We're going to clear that. I'm going to bring this back in wherever it may be. What? There it is. Okay. We'll slide this down here. Let's rotate it so we can build kind of front to back a little bit. That'd be a little easier to work with. And we'll just make it part of this. So paste it merge it and get rid of these and we can get rid of these now that we've did i center this up right let's see perfect there we go so now we actually can uh we can build a boat on this which will be really cool to do uh so let's go ahead and get ourselves hmm, how do i want to do this how do i, I want to make sure that this is the separate body from the actual boat but we can delete this later and make the boat the main body all right so hard points i think we'll use these square ones for now can i put this like that no okay so i do need a pivot pivot we're going to do that that'll make sure that our boat body is separate from the harness here okay there we go all right so we can make the boat this long don't want to make it any longer uh let's go back to hard points let's spell hard points today hard points there we go and then this can go right here we'll have one connection point there for the boat and another connection point there for the boat i hate that they're going that way i could I could turn these, but then this rack will look different because I just want this part of the rack when we're on the boat. Wait, why is that not even? Oh, okay. Well, we're losing that one. Um, 
fair enough. All right, uh, let's get rid of that. Just so you guys can see what I'm aiming for here. There we go. All right, that is gonna be our boat. So now it's gotta sit in here. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna make some sort of rib for this. Uh, I'd like to make a little rib boat. I've never made a rib boat before, so I think I might give it a go, uh, but I'm not sure where to start here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a bottom to the boat. There we go, there's our bottom, and that will sit in there. Uh, these will not, so we'll get rid of this. I think that's where we're gonna have to start curving the boat up. We'll do it like that. Yep, that should go kukunk right in there. All right, so we're gonna do another one here. And I think another one. All right, and all that should sit down in this little cradle. Yeah, nice. So now I gotta figure out, we've got kind of a shape here. Now, how do I make these ribs? And how do I make them look good? Do I do, I do it off of this? Because that's actually gonna sink down. I need that to kind of continue to sink down into that. Honestly, we can get rid of this as a part of the cradle though. That could just be the cradle. And then we could, let's try it. Let's try this real quick. See what this looks like. I don't know how to do these ribs. So I gotta practice here for a second. What if it was like this, that, 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 that? Is that how we're supposed to do the, the ribs, but with triangle pieces so that it floats better? I think that's what we're supposed to do. So let's do that. Let's try this. We're gonna go that way with it. And I think this one can go like this. And then we'll come to this one and we'll run it down here like that. Given this maximum volume in here. Okay, so we'll come in here. We'll delete this row. Because this is what's going to allow us to float, not the actual boat. Um, what do I do in here? This one needs to be like that. Give that some volume. Then we go like this. Start rounding this back off. Okay, perfect. Okay, get rid of that. Let's fix this little corner here. All right, and then we need to fill this in. And now we've got our rib shape. Uh, we could come in here and change this. This is ugly. I think we'll need a flat section there. It's kind of a deep boat though. It's kind of deep. I feel like almost doing this to continue that shape. I'm not sure. We are just, we could go wider with it though. We could go wider, but this is up against that wall and I've got to have room for the, the crane system to come up and around it. Um, uh, I don't know. We're going to try this. We're going to try this. Let's see if I can, fix this back here i think most ribs just have the oh, my, my boat parts are are, are are running dry here uh gun gunnel's not the the word what is this this is the it's where the engine mounts to it oh i'm going brain dead here transom the transom there we go it's the transom i, I bet a bunch of you guys are already like scream typing in chat trying to get me to get that um let's see let's round this off here like this uh we can get this sealed up and then once we get this sealed up, we'll see how it floats, and then we can see if we need to make it wider or not. But I think I think that'll be okay. Those feel like they need to be a little further out, honestly. And this, I just feel like, doesn't need to be so sharp right there. There we go. And I still gotta put an in, oh, we still gotta put an engine and stuff in this too. All right, so this is the front, so we can come back a little bit. I need this to be pointy. Um, I do not feel, I feel like this is not gonna float. Let's, um, I gotta, I gotta test this. Will this section float? Actually, not bad at all. Not bad at all. It's, we've got that water in the boat thing happening because of how low it sits, but that is not bad considering, you know, we're just looking for a little rescue boat to kind of get us from point A, point B, and back to the ship, you know? Uh, so let's, let's come in here. This is our center of the boat here. I kind of want to go backwards with it. Um, so let's do something like, okay, we're just going to have to deal with it. I want to go back on this angle. Is that too sharp of an angle? That is way too sharp of an angle. Let's try the two by ones. Does that look more like a boat? I think that's going to look more like the front of a boat. Okay. Let's use that as our reference. We'll get rid of all of this, get rid of all of this, get rid of all of this. All you can go get out of here. Man, I'm getting rid of everything. Okay. Um, how do I want to get from here to there? This is going to be a, kind of a difficult thing. Um, I think I need to start here on our widest point, go that way, and that still feels wrong. Hmm, maybe I delete some more. I think I need to come off of this with our two by ones. Let's do that, let's come here, two by ones to there, so this can come back another two blocks, I think. How does that look? That's better, I'm not sure I like it, but it's better. Um, how do I go from here? Let's grab these pyramids. And then somehow on this inside, I've got to continue this round shape from our so-called flotations here. Hmm. How do we do that? 
Well, let's come back under here. Let's get rid of this block, this block. Let's go back to these. These are kind of right. Okay. Now we go to the small pyramids, I think. And that'll help us continue. Ooh, that doesn't look right. I think we need to go to these, the same that the floats are made out of. Like that. And then we'll put a two by one in here. Whoops, nope, not like that. Like that. That's kind of a rib. Ugh, I don't know. Um, Let's do that. Let's start filling some of this in. Uh, I need inverse. Inverse. I think that's the part I'm looking for. Uh, let's try this. Yes, that's the part we were looking for. So now that rounds that off. We can come in here and make all of this flotation, which will be great. We can get rid of that, that, and that, and that. Can we get rid of that? Oh, we can get rid of... Nope, can't get rid of that one. All right, so we got rid of most of the stuff. Uh, let's get rid of that, 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 and not that. And that one, though. Okay, cool. Uh, the two by one goes up underneath this. So right here. And we put a block there. And then we come and grab our inverses again. And those go right in here. Perfect. And then we do that. Look at that. We've got kind of a, a rib. Now can we fit an engine in this? And a seat. And some extra seats. That's the thing. Okay, how does this float? How does this float? Where is it? Okay, I got some work to do on the bottom, clearly, because uh, I didn't shape that right. But uh, it does float. Hopefully with an engine, it'll float a little bit better back here. But yeah, it doesn't need to be a big boat. It just needs to be a little boat so we can uh, get to shore and stuff. Okay, cool. So let's come back in here. Uh, there were some problems on the bottom. Let's see, what were they? Oh, it was just this stuff. It was just connected to this stuff. Okay, sweet. So we can get rid of all of that. Did I go back too far? Mm, I might have gone back too far here. Let's do this. Okay, well, we've kind of got it selected. Let's come in. Let's uh, let's cut this back section out. Let's cut it. Ooh, why is it so long like that? And we'll do it like that, just so it has room to fit. Paste, merge. And I want to do the same thing with the front section so that we're, we're like one block off that section that I said we could do. So I'm going to take all of this. It'll be fine. Clear, cut, move it back by one, paste it. We'll merge that, and then we'll come in here and we'll just fix this by moving it. Like, like nope, 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 nope. We'll do it sideways, because that's how it's done. And there we go. Cool. So now that should fit within our, our restraints. We're just inside our limits here. Uh, perfect. Let's get a prop. Let's spell prop. All right, this is going to be our prop for this, and I think it's going to kind of go... We want it a little low here, so I want to get down in this. We're going to put it right there on this boat i think that'll be good and then we'll have to uh we'll have to pipe it from here which won't be bad okay so pipes let's go ahead and get our angled piece so we know where actually i can't see this so let's cut those out that is the right way perfect okay so that is our rps port right there so now i've got to Ooh, this boat's getting smaller and smaller um we need a seat we gotta be able to drive this thing Ooh, do i do a helm like this do we do a helm we stand up and drive and then put a couple seats here for passengers like this. We do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight seats minus whatever this is. Or do I put nine seats? I, you know what? We could do nine seats. Let's go seat. We won't need all the seats, but we're, we're tendering, we're tendering people back. So that's not bad. That's not bad. And that give us room for some uh, like fire extinguisher, welder, maybe defib. So let's go. Welder, God knows I cannot spell today. Welder, welder, we'll do an underwater welder, you never know. And then fire, and then we'll do a couple first aids in here. Since we have that little slot, there we go. And I think that should be good. Uh, just a little bit of equipment there. Oh, this engine's gonna be in the way though. Hmm, how do we do this? How do we do this? And I need a rudder on this thing too. I need to be able to steer. So do we take, what if we go in say rudder, rud, rudder, put our rudders here. Does that look right? Does that look all right? Is that, I mean, that's gonna have to work. Uh, we could go down lower like that. And then we can do something like this on these. Mirror mode, there we go. That's not bad. That kind of protects the protects the motor a little bit. Uh, am I gonna be able to drop down? Clunk. So that's gonna sit on the deck. Uh, that should be okay. Uh, now let's figure out this engine. Uh, modular, I, I feel like I need to build this backwards almost. Um, because I need the RPS to come out. Let's do this. Let's build it backwards. So we need RPS. I need a gearbox. So let's, that's going to be our gearbox. We're going to need a clutch. All right. There is our clutch. Now we can build our engine around this. So let's go back to modular engine parts. We'll do a crankshaft, crankshaft. Um, not sure if we'll need any more engine than that, honestly. 
Uh, let's get... We'll need to start it. What else do we need? We need... Cylinder for it. We got cylinder, cylinder. Or do we do boxer style? Do it side, side, side. And then we can lay it flat when we figure out how to get everything connected. I think that's what we're gonna do. All right, so we'll build it vertical like this and then we'll uh, we'll set it down on its side when we can. Um, so it's gonna need a starter. And I can delete that starter because we don't need that. We'll go ahead and give it the alternator. This will charge our batteries. And we don't have to put a generator into this system. All right, so far so good. We've got a little four cylinder boxer, like a little Subaru, Subaru engine. Uh, that's what we're working on here right now. Uh, what? Do, 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 do. Got my clutch, I've got my engines. I need to connect these guys up. So what side do I wanna do this on? Let's do this on the bottom. This will be the bottom. We'll do like that, we'll do like that. Let's go ahead and we'll put a T section in this. And that way we can use that. Uh, let's turn our exhaust right here. Perfect. Uh, and then that will actually, when we rotate this, this will actually port down. So let's just go port. We'll put our port here. That won't work because the, the helm's in the way. Okay, let's get rid of the helm. We'll build our engine. Now when I rotate this, that will be into the bottom of the boat. So our exhaust will be shooting into the boat. Uh, let's, you know what? Now that with the seats out of the way, let's go ahead and move everything. Just so you guys can understand what it is I'm talking about. And so that I don't get confused as well. So cut. We'll flip this forward. Flip it forward again and rotate. All right, so that fits like that somehow. You like that? Actually, I think it's gonna go like, oop, go like that. Oh, we're getting really close to where we need to sit though. So we're probably gonna lose a couple seats here. Um, or, 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 nope, cause that prop is there. Okay, so that's not gonna work. So we've gotta do it like this. Okay, that's fine. So we'll merge it. This is our engine. Go back to pipes. Let's angle that straight into there like that. Uh, we've got our manifolds, we are connected. Uh, I've got exhaust. Uh, let's go ahead and get back to our modular engines. Modular. And I need fuel to come and be connected in. So we're gonna do fuel right there, which now I don't have enough room for a tank. So let's go tank. I think the medium tank will fit back here nice, but I don't know if I'm gonna have room for it because that runs into my RPS. But if I remember correctly, you can run RPS and fluids through the same port. So let's try this. I need a T with the corner. So I need this. And then we're gonna go down under. Okay, come on. I need to get under here. And we'll go up and across. So I sh that should work. There's no reason, the, the fuel can't go anywhere but through the pipes. And the RPS, imagine that the pipe has an actual like drive shaft through the pipe and that's how it's sending RPS. And all that liquid fuel is just uh, flowing around that that drive shaft. Kind of the same way an outboard motor works. You, you have your lower end unit, the drive shaft from the motor on top goes down, it, it has its gearbox and it turns out to turn the prop. All the water for the coolant system sucks up into the bottom of that. It travels around the drive shaft, goes up into the motor, cools the motor and comes back down as well as all the exhaust comes out that pipe as well. So we're kind of doing like a real life scenario here. Um, so we're good there. Let's get air in air. Socket here, air, air, air. Here we go, air. And we'll do a little filter on that. So we have, I uh, feel like we're missing something. Coolant, uh, I need coolant. How do I wanna do this? Yeah, we're definitely gonna lose this seat here. And one of those needs to be a regular welder since we've lost that. All right, back to modular engines. I'm getting distracted, I need, all right, There's this is our pump. Okay, that's fine. You know what, let's do it like this. Oh, but that runs, oh, it doesn't, oh, okay. Sweet. Okay, so let's go, we're gonna put a hole here. And actually, no, this is not gonna work like I wanted to. I need this guy first. I've gotta to get to there. Maybe we get it to there and then we can put the pump. Where was the pump? The pump can go here and then we'll pipe around that. Okay, okay. It's fluid in, fluid A. So I think it should go this way because the out goes into the A, I guess, sort of, something like that. Sure, why not? All right, and then we'll go forward. This can go forward like that. Need straight pipes like that, like that. And then we'll just cut back down. Straight pipe it again. Come on, go up. There, 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 there. And then we'll just cut these out and make fluid ports of these. So we'll go port, rotate. Come on, get in there. You know you want to. There you go, rotate, boom, boom, boom. Okay, there is our engine. So we've got, we've got coolant, we've got RPS, we've got fuel, we have air. We've got a starter, we've got an alternator. Let's get a battery in here. Put a battery just 
tuck it there. We do double batteries for boats because uh, you never know when that one battery is not going to work. And then I'll go back to our helm. And then that can go right there. So we're only going to carry six people. That's okay. That's fine. No worries. Uh, what do we want to do from here? That works pretty good. Uh, let's round these off. There, that's nice and neat. Uh, I'm going to need a microcontroller for this. So ECU. And I think what we'll do is just, uh, hmm, not sure here. Uh, how do we want to do this? Maybe we'll do it like this. That could be our ECU. We'll tuck it in. Oh, we got a lot to connect here. Okay, so we're going to need a key. We need to turn this thing on. We'll just put a key right there. We need a throttle. We'll put our throttle right here. All right. And then we're just going to uh, hook up the rest here. All right, I think the engine is all hooked up. Let me just double check here. Yes, that, and yes, all of that. Perfect. Uh, I do need to add another microcontroller in here. Actually, let's, uh, I wanna crank this up. Let's see if this actually works. Let's go ahead and get rid of, we're gonna get rid of all of this under here. We don't need this anymore. We know the boat's the right size. So we can get rid of all of that. We can get rid of all of this. We can get rid of this. Get rid of that. Let's hook up our steering, because that's gonna be needed. A and D goes to our steering. And I think we're good. Let's try this. Uh, it sinks pretty quick and we're back up to floating. Nice. Okay. Uh, a little bit of water in the boat. That's okay. We're not going to worry about that. Uh, let's crank it up. A little bit of, little bit of fuel. Are we moving? Heck yeah, we're moving. Let's get going more. Okay. So I need to change the gearbox a little bit. That's, uh, has to be expected, but we've got a functioning little boat here. A nice little tender that we can throw on our big boat. Uh, let's, let's change this gearbox up a little bit. Let's see, let's just uh, go two, two, one. Let's see if that works. Might be too much power, might not be enough. All right, so we'll crank up, give it a little power. Okay, go full power. I don't know if we gained any speed out of that. Okay, did a little bit of changes in the, uh, the microcontroller settings here. Maybe it'll go a little faster here. Let's see. Uh, if not, we're just gonna have a uh, little putt and tender here. Okay. Oh yeah, we're already faster. Let's give it full speed. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're cruising. Now we're cruising. Nice. Oh yeah, look at us go. Sweet. So we've got ourselves a little tender here for the uh, for the boat. Let's see if we can get a nice little screenshot here for it. We need to paint this thing though, don't we? We need to paint this up. Uh, we get our screenshot. Let's take it back to the dock. Skirt. Oh, it drives really good. This is a nice little boat. Good little starter boat here. Okay, so let's bring it back to the dock. We'll grab that. Is it? It's all red now. Okay, so now we can kind of decorate this a little bit. Make this a little nicer. Um, I kind of want like a overhead section for it that makes any sense like a bimini there we go a bimini that's what they're called um that feels like it's too tall where is the top of this let's go ahead and box this off and see okay there is the top there we'll just do that like that get rid of that get rid of that 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 get rid of all that and that so now it's kind of got like a little bimini on it which is nice uh let's Let's clean this up a little bit. We'll get rid of all of that. And we'll use these guys there like that. And we'll do the same thing on the front something like that. Gives it a little bit better shape there. We can even come in here and go window. Uh, we can throw us a three by three right here. A little windbreaker for the guy. Ooh, where is the front of this glass? There it is. Might even incorporate it into part of this. Let's make this a little, little bigger. We can do it like that, and then we can come in, and I can round this off with maybe a 3 by one or something. Then I won't be able to get on this side of the boat. Okay, so I'll need to be able to grab this seat here. That's fine. Um, so we'll leave that like that. Uh, I do need a radio on this. Uh, we'll go for the big one, because why not? Um, it looks like a big big old VHF antenna on this. Uh, where do I want to put this? Do I want it up high? Or kind of like right here? I think it'll just go right here. It'll go like right there well, VHF antenna so now let's go and what do I need I need my AIS system which is let's find that let's come plop this down where do I want to put this this is a big microcontroller um might have to do the same thing uh slap it under here as part of the floor can we do that can we do it like that there we go nice all right, so now I'm gonna hook all this up and this should correspond with the boat. So what we could come in here and do, this is not a VTOL, this is a, oh, I don't have, okay, well, this will be a ship. Uh, this will be a crew transport, I'm guessing. Uh, vehicle ID will be 1313 because that's the ship that we are part of. So we'll have the same ID there. Uh, I think it'll just put a C in front of it or maybe a S, I'm not sure. We need more options here. I need to I need to come in and work on this. We have like tiny boat, things like that. Uh, 
and we're not using the screen. We want it to transmit all the time. All right, so we're gonna leave it like that. That should be good. All right, perfect. Okay, so now let's, uh, we need to we need to paint this up a little bit. I'm not sure what, what we need. Uh, let's go and get our, let's start with black. Or maybe a dark gray for the bottom. Let's go dark gray for the bottom. All right, it's not bad, it's not bad. Mirror mode would help uh, with painting. Yes, it would. Okay, let's paint up all this stuff here. You don't wanna see any of that. All right, bottom of the boat is not finished. Here, hang on. Let's get that, let's get this, all that. I feel like this shouldn't be painted. This section here, that filled a little, little too much. So we'll go and we'll clean that up, clean that up. And then, yes, yeah, so we got bottom paint on it. Let's come back here and uh, let's paint these guys up. Paint that up, paint in there. All right, so what color do we want this boat to be? Uh, well, we can go ahead and paint our gas tank red because that's, that's obvious. Uh, we'll just paint the engine up. We'll just do black, nothing special. There we go. Uh, let's go for like maybe a, like a sand color for the base of the boat, what we stand on. Yeah, I think that's all right. We'll do like that, the interior, something like that. So that's pretty good, I like that. Uh, let's paint some of these other things here. Make it all match, nice and neat. Here we go, paint those. Perfect. Uh, we can paint our transom back here. There we go. And yeah, we'll just paint the insides like that. Should be pretty good. Now we've got to come up with a color for this outside. Um, I feel like orange would be like the best option, but it doesn't have to be orange. I feel like that's more like rescue. What is red? Red's too dark. What about a little blue here? Ooh, I like this blue. I like that blue. Let's go with this blue. Let's add some, uh, let's put some white back into it. Like we'll make our seats white because those will be nice and hot to sit on. Uh, we can even do a, a white bimini to reflect the sun like that. Not bad. Uh, I feel like these need to be a different color if that's going to be the case. Uh, maybe we'll come in here and do like a gray color for these. Kind of represent like some metal bars. Not bad. Uh, it's not bad, honestly. Uh, let's do the same thing here. Paint all that up. We'll paint our, our glass. We'll make it black. There we go. Yeah, and I feel like... I just feel like this needs to be filled in. We'll just never be able to get up front. Um, Cause I do need a dial for fuel. We'll go dial, dial for fuel, dial for battery. We'll need two the, we'll need two dials here. Okay, so the first one's gonna be down here. This will be our battery. And this will be our fuel. All right, so we got fuel. Uh, this is a zero. I think that tank is 185, give or take. And then our battery is going to be zero and one battery. And I need to hook up the AIS system here. So it looks like I also need a GPS. We can take that and we can stick that on our boat somewhere. Stick it right here. Why not? Let me take that and you finish hooking up all of this. So transmit the radio, transmit on that frequency. I'm not anchored. I need a compass. So here's our GPS X. Here's our GPS Y. Let's get a compass. And we can plop that where? Ooh, maybe in here. We'll go compass. And then the compass goes to there. And I think we don't need anchored. There's no composite for that. And I think oop, there is composite for this. We're gonna send to the data. Data see. We're not watching anything. We don't have a monitor here to know where our ship is at. So we're gonna have to hope for the best here. Uh we don't have radios on this either. Maybe a radio? Radio, like a handheld? And we'll put that on the opposite side here that, I, oops, nope, that's a radiation detection. We need a radio. There we go. So now we can communicate with the ship. I like it. I dig it. It's a nice little boat. Um, I'm going to have to put some, let's go lights. Ooh, lights. Nope, light. Okay, we got a light here. Mirror mode. We can go ahead and plop these like that. We can put one in here. No, undo. I didn't like that. Let's put... How are we gonna do this? Because up here is where this is supposed to go. Okay, so let's do this. Hang on, idea, boom, 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 lights. We can do this like this, maybe. Does that work? And then this needs to be, I feel like that doesn't work. I feel like those need to be here. What if those are here? It means this will look about, this will look better. Then I can come back in here with this again and make this look nice, as nice as we can. There we go. So now we'll take mirror mode off. Let's go get our paintbrush, change it to additive. Red's that, green is this. And then we'll just come back here and we'll put a white light. Um, put on the back here, that'll work better. Ooh, and actually this gives me an idea here. Um, port, nope, hose, nope, come on. 
Oh, come on. Hose connector. There we go. We'll do that there. And then we can get this. This can be an anchor. We can tow with this if we had to. We can refuel with this if we had to. And also this needs to be, this could be towed if needed. And then we'll also need some for our crane system to grab a hold of. I think that's what's going to look like right there. Not bad. It's not bad. I dig it. So we can get it on and off of the boat. We can crank it. It can move. We can refuel it. It's got nav lights. Let's give it a, uh, let's give it a button for the lights. Um, let's go. Can I see my buttons here? Where are they? Button one will be nav lights. We'll just call this nav lights. I don't think we need a spot. A spotlight probably be too bright for us here, but I think we've got everything we need just to kind of maybe shuttle some people to and from the boat here. Um, let's do, Hmm. We won't be able to use those, but they do look good. Um, I think that might actually, here, I'm going to put these on here just because I like the way they look. Uh, but I think they're going to collide with the boat build. Uh, we need to paint this. Nope, it doesn't need to be blue. It needs to be like a dark gray so it's not so bright. And then we'll come in here and paint that blue. Perfect. Uh, I think we have a tender, you guys. Let's go ahead and let's slap this on the boat, the big boat, and see what this looks like. All right, first things first, I want to try this out. Ooh, it's a sinky boat. Come on, come on. How does this boat look now on the water? Okay, let's crank you up. Get some throttle going. Come on, speed up. Yeah, it's not a bad little boat. Nav lights, cool. Actually, I, I kind of dig this boat. It's, it's it's a small little quick little boat. W costs nothing, costs us absolutely nothing. All right, cool. So this is gonna be our tender for our boat. So let's go ahead and uh, let's grab this. Uh, let's get let's get our recovery ship in here. And then now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna load, we're gonna load our recovery tender in here. Where is it? It's right here. Perfect, okay, so we're gonna rotate it like that and we'll bring it in like this I need to bring it up and i need to find where that spot is come on like this does this work come on this goes like that it goes back by one and i think that's a good little spot for it okay that is is that locked in that is locked in so that's where our boat is gonna go sweet oh that looks really good right there okay so let's go ahead and let's paste that in Look at that. Um, does that lock in when we uh, when we spawn it in? Hello? There's my boat. Okay. How does that look up front here? Oh, that looks really good. And we can still kind of get around it. Okay, I say that. Now with the new jumping mechanics, we can't. So we can get around it like that. There we go. That's awesome. It just sits right here. And then we can come in here and make, a, make our crane system. Yes, this is awesome. Okay, cool. I'm excited about this. Uh, cool, you guys. Well, we've got a new boat for our boat. Uh, let's see if we can hop on here and you can kind of see it. Uh, that's awesome. We've got a nice little tender for our big boat. We can drop this in the water if we need it, do a couple missions, let other people do missions, and go about their business. So yeah, guys, there you go. We now have an awesome little tender for the front of our uh, recovery boat here. Uh, I'll probably do something like a little matching helicopter to go with it. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, and we can just always have it back there. And if we need to move it, we can just move it, get it out of the way, land it somewhere, do some rescue missions with it. I don't know. I think I think it has potential. Uh, we can always do maybe a landing pad up front, but I think that's going to add too much weight to the boat. But if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you throw a like on this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Uh, I've got more to come. i got a bunch of ideas for this. Um, lots to come, and your ideas are driving this build. So keep throwing those comments down below, and we will see you guys in the next one.